Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 11 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for the Xbox. So, um, I just flew back here to Fracture Hill so we can go and do this one and get it out of the way. So all we need to do is we need to make it towards the end of the level again. Get into that room with all the, the dudes in there. Now that we have the head bash ability, we will have no problems dealing with the challenge through that little area. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So I swear a lot more of these bushes were technically evil. But I guess not. Now what we need to go and do is we need to go and talk to Ying the Ving the Virgin over here. I've been experimenting with a new potion. I'd like to try it out, but the earth shapers have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Not Great. really. Just keep those earth shapers away from me, and I'll take this potion to Hunter. Yeah, I hate this challenge. This one is bogus, because he has like the weirdest pattern ever. And you can't really tell exactly where he's going to be going at first. And all you can do is stun these guys and hope that you knock them far enough away. If you do kind of fail the pattern and run out of position. Are you serious? I hit the Earth Shaper, he didn't even budge. Yeah, 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 man. Not my fault the Earth Shaper just didn't move. Oh, my fault this... That didn't even hit him. He's not even close enough. Oh my god, I told you. I hate this mission. This is one of the very few orbs in this game that I actually despise getting. Now stay away. And leave me alone. Now we gotta hit this guy, because why not? Then we gotta hit this turd nugget over here. Hit the turd nugget. Hit the turd nugget. Hit this turd nugget again. Hit this turd nugget, I guess, maybe. Nope, it wasn't this turd nugget. It was this turd nugget. Okay, it was that turd nugget. And this turd nugget? I don't know. Where are you going? This turd nugget? No? Sir, make up your mind with where you're going. Please, for the love of God. You could have just went around the corner. Dumb mission. Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? All right, next or done. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? All right. When I shoot an Earth Shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then uh, press. I know how to do that. Also, why is this challenge the same difficulty? Also, why do you have electric arrows all of a sudden? Like, where'd you get this ability from? Also, why do you run really slow despite the fact that it looks like you're booking it? It's kind of weird if you say so. Or if I say so. Like, dude, I walk faster than you run. And you're a cheetah of all things. Are you gonna shoot this one? Or are you gonna shoot the far away one? I'll break him by uh, smashing his arm. That electricity didn't even hit him. It hit, like, over here. That was a nice snipe. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Well, yeah, he was an idiot and didn't walk around the corner. But sure, thank you. That's 50 orbs. Nice. And that should be level complete. Right on. So now we can go to the guidebook and go to Shady Oasis. Also, it's funny how the speedway is technically after the boss. It makes, makes no sense, but whatever. Let's go to Shady Oasis. Mm. The adventure continues. With a cutscene we've already seen before. <laughs> Alright, and sadly we have to do this again. I know. Eat it, you pork chop. Can I eat it? Gulp. Oh, I'm huge. 
Why am I not huge, game? I wanted to eat it too. See, unlike the other level, though, you kind of can't just rush to this point because you have to wait for this diddle doddling friggin' potato man. Why are you so slow, shorty? Here, eat it. Oh. That's one fat hippo. Ow. Let's go, buddy. Let's go kill these guys. I don't know how many I need to kill, honestly. There, you go there. I'll go flame the stupid tree. Because, you know, it would be a lot easier or quicker if you just, you know, ran forward since the enemies don't even attack you. But, no. Let's just ignore the fact that Spyro always has to do all the work. And be patient with your chubby little butt. Yeah, pork chop. Uh, flame. 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 Where is he? Oh, now you're over here. Okay. Goodbye, weird wench. I guess if you just walk, it's pretty much super easy, but... Eh, come on, dude. Aw, oh, we hit each other. That sucks. Wait, why did it... Oh, come on, game. Why did it not shoot where I wanted it to? It shot literally in a straight line. That, that was... That made no sense. This game, I tell you, man. It just makes no sense. Now run him over, please. Thank you. Now I'd like to go down here, thank you. And smash open this and grab all the gems. There we go. Now we can do this challenge. Your eight brothers? Oh no. Why are your eight brothers petrified in stone and coming out of the sewer? In toxic goop. I hate to tell you guys this, but uh, I think you may be idiots. And also, why do you all look the same? In the original, they weren't all the same color, and they all didn't have the same weird flying animation. Where they just, like, immediately hover up. But what is going on here? This is just weird. But thank you for the free orb. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. Well... It's an orb, not a rock, but thank you. Yay, and we're done! That's all the backtracking we had to do. Not even eight minutes worth of backtracking, man. Now I guess we gotta go back to the Winter Tundra and go take on a level here. What am I listening to? Oh, it's snow plows outside. I thought it was somebody talking. It was just snow plows. We, Elora, don't go <clears throat> like you're gonna tell me something and then just straight up not tell me anything. Uh, okay. Wait, no, I already got full health. Anyways, do we want to take on Mystic Marsh? Yeah, let's go take on Mystic Marsh. Oh yeah, I think now we'll put the gem total in. Yay! Forty-three hundred gems. Oh god. Alright, so it looks like we need uh, 20 uh, enemies to get the power up here. Also, if you want the achievement, you're supposed to charge the monkeys in the trees. Not flame them, but I don't need it, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll tell you guys how to get it anyway. Achievements! I don't know why half these ele elephants have. Excuse me, half these enemies are elephants. Or, like, partial elephants, you know? But why do I hear a big elephant over here? Oh. I thought they just fall over. They don't even just, like, die. They just fall over. Like, ugh, I'm dead. Wait, this monkey is throwing Wumpa fruit at me. 
That's what it's doing. It's from Crash Bandicoot. I knew it was up to no good. Evil monkey. It's those monkeys from Crash Bandicoot and those vases and the, the Sphinx levels, man. Okay, Mr. Monkey, I don't care about you either. How many enemies do we have? Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, you teleported. You weren't there. Goodbye, Mr. Monkey Monkey. Wow, all this money too, man. We're getting tons. But like I said, this is the entire level. It's just one little area. This level is really, really small, but it's not necessarily short. Also, it's got weird purple goop surrounding the outside of it, which makes no sense, but whatever. Now, I do believe we have to glide over here. And this will actually trigger another mini-game. Or, I guess, like, challenge. Not really mini games. So let's do it. Ah, Spyro, so glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. I don't know why this is a difficulty challenge, but yeah. So, what we'll have to do is we'll have to do, like, a little, like, trading game. But for right now, we're just gonna go explore the level, and looks like we can't get up there yet. So, because we don't have enough enemies defeated. So it looks like we can check out what's in this water, which, okay, that's too shallow to dive in, but I see gems over here, so... Oh, look. Platypuffers. Weird enemy choice, but sure. And one more, and we have all the enemies we need, which is you. Also, you're the only one that was moving for whatever reason. Not entirely sure why, but... Interesting, I guess. Also, why are the red gems so hard to see underwater, despite being literally the most worthless gems in the entire game? Also, I'm pretty sure you actually do need to defeat all of the enemies in this level, or at least in the base part of the level, to actually get up there. Because now you get this spring-loaded god tier ability to go up into the treetops and the little tree village and collect the rest of the gems as well as defeat some epic boss-like enemies called snail fins. I don't get them. They're so weird. Such a weird creature, honestly. The music here is kind of good, but it really does... I have a reminiscence to Spiral 1, honestly. Feels like something you hear in that game, especially in the Swamp World, which I guess is fitting, right? Because it's the, it's a Swamp level. Or a Marsh level. Get out of here. There's a vibrating plant pot. Interesting. I don't know why it's vibrating like that, but sure. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on up here. There's more water we can go into. So that could be something. Probably more platypusers. Wait a minute. Oh, that water's not even deep enough to go into. Platypusers, man. Yay! They're super cute sounding, but boy are they a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna be a pain in their butt, literally. By headbutting them in the butt. Man, we've killed 32 enemies already. That's insane how many enemies we've defeated. And there's still more to this level. Including more porcupuffers. Or porcupuffers. How did I miss that enemy? Kinda want you dead so you're not in my way anymore. But well, no more gems in here. Alright. Oh my god, still more enemies and probably... In why do they keep glitching down like that? That's so weird. Why are you snoozing? Oh yeah, by the way, no more talismans in this game. Yeah, they're they're gone. They're done. They're kaputs. So you actually need this to get this gem over here. Which is a pretty big beefy gem, so I might as well finish the level. Oh, I don't I must have dozed off there. Golly, it looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and, um, 
Don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? Well, your name's Snoozle. I'm pretty sure he expects you to be sleeping all the time, right? Yeah, so you get orbs instead of uh, talismans now. Kind of weird that they chose to do it that way, but I guess it works. And this is the final orb. Or no, it's not the final orb. I forgot. We still have to do the professor's orb challenge. But yeah, there's an orb here too. Now, I actually still have quite a few gems to go, but then again, looks like there could be gems maybe in here. Oh, there is. Doesn't look like there's any enemies in here, though. Wait. Okay, this is the spot with the basket. We're missing 25 gems. Wait. Oh, I didn't go into the cave, did I? I don't think I went into here. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Weird that there's exactly 25 gems over in this little area, but... Oh, there was. All fives, too. Nice. So, before we go and do that other mini game for that weird mustachioed man up there, I want to go and do the Professor's one, because it's actually fun and easy. The other one, not so much. Also, why did your... Why was the hitbox on that egg so weird? Anyways, let's go up here. And where we need to go is to this nest over here. So if you guys have never done this before, I'll show you exactly how to do it. And then you want to kind of aim upward a bit. And then we'll trigger a cutscene. Hmm. A seed. A seed generally goes in a planter, right? So we'll put this in here. I don't know why it already has veins, or like veins, roots, but still. Ugh, that's so weird. Oh, they got a rubber ducky. Uh, I don't even know what you're supposed to be. You're just weird. It's like supposed to be some kind of weird Venus flytrap, but I don't know. Doesn't look like any I've ever seen before, that's for sure. So then you fire this duck to the sad little duck over here. Boom. You trick her into having a baby, which is funny. And then we got ourselves a turnip, which we did see a cauldron back in the cave up here. So who wants to bet that you actually throw it in the cave up there? Actually, it's not even a bet. I just straight up know that's where you're supposed to put it. I think we only have one or two more after this to trade in. This is kind of hard to like aim in this though. There we go, into the pot. And then a gold coin, those usually go into fountains. Even as a kid, I didn't have an issue with figuring out all these, because it's kind of obvious. And then Patui. Oops. Wow, those are bigger coins than I have. There we go. And a pencil. Don't know why he needs a lucky number two pencil, but... I guess we all have things that hold sentimental value, right? And there you go. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again! Here, take this orb for safekeeping. Alora thinks I'm going to lose it. Well, apparently you did it, so that's good. But you did lose your pencil. So, she was right about you losing things. Maybe you lost your pencil, and then she's like, Yeah, I don't want you to have this orb anymore, dude. Now, let's go deal with the most annoying orb Probably in, in this w entire world, this one. Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen my spark plugs and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. Yeah, this one is not easy. I think it shows... Wait, it doesn't show you? Sorry. I needed a drink because I thought they were going to show me where they were. Ah, there's one. Kangaroo Jack. There we go. We got Kangaroo Jack before he or she went into there. Kind of sounds feminine, so I don't know. Men can be feminine too, but... I don't remember them sounding like that. There we go. And then there's the easy one over here that kind of just runs around in a circle. Then there's the one that rides the or runs across the rooftops, which is the annoying one. Oh, there we go. 
And now we have to kill the last one, which is going to be the entire length of this video. I'm pretty sure he starts right over here. Ah, there he is. Get over here. Also, isn't it weird that the thieves, for once, aren't actually thieves? Considering in Spyro, thieves have been thieves since the dawn of time. I don't even know how, like, you're supposed to actually gain distance on this guy. There we go, we got him. I had to cut that really tight. Woohoo! I'm back in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Thank you, Basil. You kind gentleman human you. And there we go, we beat the level. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and in the next episode, we will probably go to a new level. All that guy does is sleep. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye.